Thinking about what's to come beyond the pandemic can be difficult right now, but there is a glimmer of hope and a better chance to plan for recovery, whether it's here on Main Street, providing more opportunities to more people. It's about more than just getting back to normal. We can do things that we have never thought we could do. So we can bend our rules. Such a groundswell of um, people really, um, if they didn't already have the awareness, really um, seeing now. In some ways, uh, the pandemic is creating opportunities uh, for bigger thinking. It's creating a more collaborative uh, approach. There's great, great uh, opportunity, hope, talent, energy. We just need to tap into it. Having ordinary people with some power that the politicians are listening to, that employers are listening to, that's the safest bet to come out of this well. So many of the crises that already existed before COVID-19 hit only continue to be amplified through this process, um, whether it be the housing crisis, structural racism, food insecurity, and all of these other factors that continue to impact community members. We see really strong, of course, as always, tenant organizing that really continues to bring to light um, the, the conditions that tenants are facing not only in this neighborhood, but then tying it to wider structural issues across the city once again. I'm hopeful that uh, with a concerted effort of governments, communities, private sector, philanthropy and allies, uh, we can create the conditions for a paradigm shift. And part of that is trying to really recognize that uh, black communities have an important role to play at the policy level. The more we can have young rising leaders from indigenous, black, racialized communities sitting there feeling, uh, uh, not, well, feeling as well as participating and having a voice, it will change the nature of the kinds of where we put the emphasis on, on, on how we want to uh, invest and change, whether it's in how we spend our money, the policies that we need to put in place. One of the themes that came out of uh, all of our 11 sector tables was this idea of the build, build back better that people are talking about a great deal, but it's not leaving people behind. Looking at Main Street and ensuring that Main Street or, uh, organizations, businesses are taken care of because our international um, draw comes from our local flavor. You know, 17,000 businesses have closed doors and not necessarily permanently, but how do we ensure that all of that vibrancy comes back so that we have that, uh, that strength? If we're gonna spend billions and billions of dollars in public money, we better make sure that doesn't just benefit some of the, some of the richest people in this country. They better make sure that those things go into setting the stage for fairness and justice in the future. I think one of the biggest lessons for me is like, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. Recovery strategies like the ones outlined in this report from the Toronto Region Board of Trade due out next week cover most of those points and more. The biggest takeaway, though, is starting the process now so everyone could potentially bounce back better than before.